I'm Nancy Snow. My field is philosophy. I'm in ethics. I'm at the University of Oklahoma, the director of the Institute for the Study of Human Flourishing, and I'm a co-director of the Self-Motivation and Virtue Project. My name is Darsha Narvaez, and I'm a psychology professor at the University of Notre Dame. My role in the Self-Motivation and Virtue Project is that I'm also a co-director. Our project is funded by the Templeton Religion Trust, uh, and they're very interested, of course, in serious interdisciplinary work. The project is uh, designed to fund multiple research projects, and so we organized a system of selection of teams. Uh, we wanted to em emphasize the interdisciplinarity of the teams, and so that was a primary criterion of selection. So my name is John Dunn, and I am fortunate to hold the chair in Contemplative Humanities at um, the University of Wisconsin-Madison in the Center for Healthy Minds. Uh, my name is Blaine Fowers. I'm a theoretical psychologist, and I work at the University of Miami. My name is Hei Young Bang. Um, I'm working at Bowling Green State University. I'm Bob Roberts, and um, I am a philosopher. I'm collaborating with Brad Coquelet, a philosopher at the University of Miami currently, and uh, we have a co-investigator, Jean-Philippe Laurenceau, who's a psychologist at the University of Delaware. I teach education psychology for undergraduate students and also um, human development, human growth and development and cross-cultural psychology for graduate students. I uh, taught at Baylor University until last May and retired, uh, so I'm Professor Emeritus there. And I have a little part-time job at the University of Birmingham in the Jubilee Center. My area of specialization is in contemplative studies especially Buddhist philosophy and contemplative theory in connection with cognitive science. We had an interdisciplinary moral forum at Marquette University last March. 30 research teams presented. We do have a core project team uh, of interdisciplinary scholars. They evaluated those presentations. And of the 30, 10 teams were selected for funding. We have our uh, first forum with these 10 research teams uh, starting this weekend. We're finding um, sort of what the harm is that, uh, that comes to people when churches treat homosexuality and gender variance as sins. Um, we're, we're seeing that it actually causes harm to people and uh, that the sin analogy is wrong. So I came to the project initially focusing exclusively on the harm piece. I was really interested in um, this phenomenon of spiritual violence, the way that people can be um, spiritually harmed in their faith communities. And so I was really interested as an ethicist in the moral harm that that causes, not just the spiritual harm, but how people are harmed in their, in their moral character and in, in their ability to cultivate the kinds of traits that um, these communities think are really important for living a good human life, traits like humility and compassion and generosity and authentic love. So it kind of formed a, um, a cohesive project that's looking at the harm piece, but also at the resilience piece and the healing and recovery piece. We pioneered the concept of deep integration, and that means that we want everybody who is involved in the project of the teams that we fund to be fully invested, equally and fully invested from the inception to the end. We're looking at the relationship between well-being and virtue by studying personal projects. Personal projects are essentially goals that people have plus the various uh, strategies and ideas that they have that help them to uh, work toward those goals. So they're things that people care about uh, and focus on in their day-to-day -day lives. I guess in general we're, we're hoping to see how people's personal projects, their goals, the things that they care about are related to the ways in which their character develops over time. Um, and I suppose I'm also hoping, you know, to just have the experience of working with psychologists on something that I care about. Um, that's kind of a privilege. Uh, and we want to 
understand better how people's broad personality tendencies, some of which are more virtuous than others, uh, develop in tandem with the kind of goals and uh, activities that they take on in their lives at this point. One of the interesting things I think about what we're doing and about what Templeton is now doing is that we're reaching out to artists and to the arts. And um, it's work that is not only reaching across the disciplines, it's reaching across different traditions and cultures. What we're looking at now is what are the implications of that? If, if morality is especially important to identity, being the same person across time, will that affect how people think about responsibility? We're also interested in why this shows up. It's a, it's, it's a striking phenomenon. It's extremely robust. Everybody gets this effect. It's enormous. It's just a huge effect. It shows up all the time, but nobody knows why. So that's one of the things we're really looking at now. Well, in general, we're expecting each team to contribute to a volume uh, that we will edit about their research on these projects. And we hope that each team will be inspired to continue doing this kind of research after the, our funding is ended. So we're planting seeds for the future on how important it is for teams of different disciplines to come together, put their minds together, approach these very important topics uh, because our, our world really needs a lot more um, virtuous motivation.